Good morning, everyone. My name is Cherie, and this is Vlogmas Day 5. Today, I decided to make a video, which I've seen a lot of author tubers do, called the TBR video, and that is Books to be Read. So, I don't have a lot of time to read, unfortunately, and because of that, books have been piling up by my bedside. So these are the books I would like to get through in December. First, I'll start off with the library books. So these were ones I discussed in my Preptober video. Um, Making a Good Script Great, Screenwriting the Sequence Approach, and uh, a reread of John Truby's The Anatomy of Story. So those are the three screenwriting books I still have checked out even after I did that video. All right, and so the next book I'm reading, I really love this, it's called Netflixed, and it's about the origins of Netflix, um, a Silicon Valley company, and uh, I am doing research for a, a new YouTube series I'm going to be starting in the new year about the Silicon Valley. So this is helping me with that research. It's written really well. It's a very fun read. I also have three books that I need to pick up at the library. Um, <laughs> so uh, luckily it's not raining today. So hopefully after work I will be able to go over to walk over there and pick up those books as well. So I have also borrowed a couple of books from my mom, and this is Charlotte Bronte's The Professor, one of her early works. I believe this was before Jane Eyre. And then there is also Villette, uh, which was one of her last books, I believe. Never read them. The interesting thing about The Professor, which I, I am halfway through, um, a lot of it's in French because the main character travels to Belgium and they're speaking French. So luckily I know a little French, so it's not too daunting. Um, I think someone who doesn't know any French would probably be a little turned off by that. All right, now on to the, the big books. Um, this one was given to me by Lisa. She was in one of my videos last month and it's Outlander. She loves the Outlander series. This is the first book. I haven't um, watched the series. So I don't know very much about it except it takes place in Scotland. So anyway, um, that one, oh, look how, how big that is. Okay. And then this I've had for a while. This is the trilogy, um, His Dark Materials. So I already read the, um, the Golden Compass or what do they call it? Um, a Subtle Knife. Um, and right now I don't have cable, but my, uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi is allowing me to stream certain series and the BBC has done the series on this and so <laughs> I kind of want to watch that. I've only read the first book so um, I don't know like do I want the spoilers or do I just watch the first one um, and I think that I can only watch it this week and so who knows if I'll even get to do that. Um, the next one is one I got at work so we have this table where people can just leave off stuff and other people can take it and Lost Horizon was on that. I remember seeing the movie a long time ago and and it was kind of fascinating and so I think this will be a, a good book and I believe I've read another book by this author that I really liked so anyway Lost Horizon and then finally The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand and um, Atlas Shrugged is one of my favorite books and this is one that she wrote I think before that um, not sure I'll let you know here and um, the fountainhead is about an architect and so I, I started reading it it was really good and then I got bogged down with stuff so I, I don't know if you can see I'm that much through I might have to go back and just kind of restart uh, because it's been hmm, close to two years so you know I want to get it all fresh in my mind all right, welcome back. It's nighttime now, and I went to the library and picked up my books that were on hold. So, adding to my list of books, I have Fear and Clothing by Sintra Wilson. And Sintra is a, uh, a wickedly witty writer. I met her in the mid 
90s in Hollywood. And then I've also got Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. He's like one of my new idols right now, so I cannot wait to read this book. And the final one is Permanent Record by Edward Snowden. So, a lot of reading to do. I don't know if I can read all of these books in December, but, you know, it's good to have goals. And this is a, a, a wide variety of things to read. So if I get bored with one, I can move on to another. It just depends what kind of mood I'm in. And then tonight, I'm probably going to do the same ab workout with Dr. Levi that I did a couple nights ago because the 24-hour onset was amazing. I'm like, why am I sore? Oh, yeah. So it's a really good workout. And um, Alice, if you're watching this, let me know if you get the 24-hour soreness onset. All right. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.